Cameron Mashansky's family is asking for privacy today. They're saying little about the circumstances surrounding his death. He was pronounced dead on the scene shortly before 7 p.m. yesterday when police arrived. Cameron's aunt, Cassandra Mashansky, says Cameron lit up the room when he walked in. She says the family has lost the light of their lives. They've created a GoFundMe page to help with funeral expenses, but Cassandra Mashansky says they haven't set a date yet. It's still too soon after the tragedy. Police have started their investigation with the chief coroner's office and the Regina Humane Society. Cameron was with his grandfather at the time of the attack. It happened outside his grandparents' home in Ryston. The dogs belong to the boy's grandmother. The RCMP were tight-lipped today, too. Staff Sergeant Rob Embry took questions from reporters, and he wouldn't comment on charges. And right now, it, it's at the investigation. It, like I said, they're investigating uh, this young boy that died, and uh, it was reported as a, as a dog attack, so that's how it's being investigated. But we have to follow through on the investigation. I just don't want to jump the gun and say that this charge is happening or that charge. It's, it's too speculative. We just have to let the investigation go forward. Embry said dog attacks are quite uncommon in the province. And despite being pressed for more information by reporters, he reiterated the family's wish for privacy. Bridget Yard, CBC News, Saskatoon.